The next question, Hamis Isa Ali from Tanzania, East Africa. I am a great fan of you and I'm learning a lot from you. May Allah bless you and your family and reward you Jannah, inshallah. Ameen, ameen. My question is, I took my bachelor's degrees last year in 2019 from the government university through government students loan because of my economic conditions and then I came to realize that I will have to pay it back with interest riba after being employed. So what should I do to make up for this major sin? Please help. Brother Hamis has asked a question that unknowingly he took a loan for his education degree, his bachelor's degree and then later on he realized that this loan has to be repaid back along with interest. What should he do now? If you have taken a loan knowingly, which you did not, knowingly, and now you realize it's a major sin, the best is to repent. And as I mentioned earlier, that if you have to repent, first thing you have to agree that what you have done is wrong. Agree riba is wrong. Number two, stop it. Number three, repent and ask forgiveness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number four, don't do it again. And number five, undo it if you can. So now that you have taken a loan unknowingly, inshallah, all the more reason Allah will forgive you. Even if you take knowingly, you want to ask for forgiveness, you can, and Allah will inshallah forgive you. You agree it is wrong. If you have taken knowingly also, stop it. Don't do it in future. Ask for forgiveness, undo if you can. Now that you have done it unknowingly, yet alhamdulillah, you have to stop it. You have to agree it is wrong. Not to do it in future. Ask for forgiveness and undo if you can. Now that you have taken a loan, how can you undo it? Of course, you can stop it if you can. Agree it is wrong, which you have done also. See it, you don't do it again and inshallah you won't do it again. How can you undo it? Now that you have taken a loan and you have to repay it. The best is, what you have to do, take that same amount of loan from an Islamic bank and give it to the conventional loan that you have taken. Suppose you have taken a loan of X amount and you have to give X plus Y back. So take X plus Y from the Islamic bank on the Islamic principles based on the Sharia and give it and immediately stop that loan. Over. Finish. What do you have to pay? Principal amount and interest. Take from the Islamic bank. Give it and then repay slowly after you get a job to the Islamic bank. Number one. If there is no Islamic bank in your vicinity, in your country, in your city, the next option is that you can take from zakat money, from your relatives. And as I said, that one of the criteria for zakat, there are eight categories where zakat can be given. One category, according to Surah Tawbah, chapter number 9, verse number 60, is gharim un debtor. If you're a debtor, if you have taken a loan, you can take zakat money from your relatives, from your friends, no problem. You can even take zakat from a person who you are dependent of. Zakat and the category of fuqara or needy cannot be given, but in the category of garimun, yes, because it is not the duty of the person who you are dependent on to take care of your loan. So you can take even from your father or from your mother or from your son or from your daughter, it is permitted. According to Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, you can take. So even from your dependent and close relatives, you can take zakat and give it to the conventional loan that you have taken. The third option is last, if you don't have Islamic bank, you don't have relatives, go to your friends. If your friends have no zakat to give, the last resort is that you ask for forgiveness. The moment you earn money, if there is a time period that you keep on paying one one thousand or maybe a small percentage, you keep on paying much more than what you are required and finish the loan as soon as possible so that you can stay away from it and you can save yourself from online resource. So these are the various options available. Ask for forgiveness. Inshallah, Allah will forgive you.